I'm going to work with balance. We all need to have good balance for our day activities. So that's why we have to practice some exercises to improve it. The exercises that I'm going to show here are based on the work of a company that does neuroscience for athletes and trainers. I divided the exercises in three parts. The first one is only the feet on the floor. The second one is the legs in the air. And the third one is the legs and the arms. Standing on a grid that looks like a compass with the north, south, east and west. You can see I'm bare feet because that's the best way to have contact with the surface that you are is, is standing on. Remember to apply the Pilates principles while you are doing the exercises. Engaging your abdominal muscles, uh, having a, a good alignment of your pelvis, breathing laterally, also uh, thinking about your scapulas, that they are in the right position, that you don't have the shoulders up, and the ribs are also not flared while you are exercising. Let's get started. Okay, we'll start with the foot on the floor. Right leg, you will go to the front, uh, that is going to be front, this is going to be called diagonal, front, this is going to be side, diagonal back, and back. So this is the pattern that I will follow, and the other uh, across points uh, is going to be across front and across back. Same for the arms, same for the, for the feet, the feet. So let's start with the feet. Right foot, uh, for you will be, if you are looking in, in a mirror with me, I will be this leg for you to do the right foot. It's going to be front, diagonal front, side, diagonal back, back and recover. Again, front, diagonal front, side, diagonal back, back and recover. Let's do the other leg. Front, diagonal front, side, diagonal back, back and recover. The other leg, front, diagonal front, side, diagonal back, back and recover. I said the other leg, but I wanted to say it again. Okay. Now, let's try to do the same thing to increase the difficulty with your eyes closed. I know that's super difficult, it's difficult for me as well. So be sure that when you are doing these exercises, you are in a free area, that's I am. And ideally next to a wall, if you need to, to hold yourself from somewhere, so that you can hold from, uh, from there if you feel that you are losing your balance. Uh, okay, and for the eyes closed, we're going to do only one, but obviously, Either the first one or this one, you can do as many repetitions as you want. Okay, let's start with the right uh, leg for you and with the eyes closed. Okay, close your eyes, engage your core, and then we go. Front, diagonal front, side, diagonal back, back, and we go. If you have the eyes closed, you probably have noticed that I also struggle. So let's do the other side, the other leg. So we engage the core, we close the eyes and we go front, diagonal front, side, diagonal back, back and recover. Difficult, isn't it? Let's now uh, think about uh, the legs but in the air. So we are now going to do the same movement with the leg, slightly lift. Engage your core first, to have the posture of your arms, and here we go with the right leg for you. So we go front, diagonal front, side, diagonal back, back, and together. Repeat the same leg. Front, diagonal front, side, diagonal back, back, and together. Let's do the other leg. So you go front, front, side, diagonal back, back and together, and again, front, diagonal front, side, diagonal back, back and together. Very well done. For the progression is going to be not only reaching the floor with the hand, 
but also lifting the leg. So lift the leg, reach forward and lean and go back. With the same arm, with the same leg. So the leg lifts across and the leg, other leg stays and then you touch the floor and then you come back. So let's do that four times, starting uh, with the right leg. So you go down and touch and recover. Change legs, you go across and touch with the, with the hand on the floor and recover. And then you go across, touch and recover. And last one, you touch down, cross and recover. And remember, if you cannot go all the way down, you probably can just try to go and reach out at the beginning. Or you can also stay in with the leg on the floor and touching and then probably at the very end you lift the leg a little bit just to keep the balance and then you will recover. As I said before, this is also work for the quads and you really have to engage the, the abdominal muscles. Try to do the exercises at least once a week. You can start with the ones with the feet on the floor, then you can progress with the one with the legs in the air and lastly you will add reaching with the hand and lifting the leg. Thank you so much for watching the video, I hope this will help you and I'll see you in the next series of exercises to improve your coordination, balance and strength.